brown and why does a bird have wings why does the rain come raining down that's the nature of things why is the elephant big and strong and why are the lions kings why is the giraffe's neck so long that's the nature of things Things of nature, nature of things, sometimes seem quite funny. Like what makes music when a robin sings, and what makes bees make honey? Why do the stars twinkle in the sky, and why does Saturn have rings? Why, oh why, does the flying fish fly? It's just the nature of things, that good old natural nature of things. everybody. You know, there's a lot of things that puzzle me. And when I'm puzzled, know what I do? I look it up in books. That's where I find out the answers to things. Now, today's story is about, uh, oh gosh, I forgot. That's funny. I know it was a big subject. Oh, that's it. I want to tell you about the elephant. It says here, elephant from the Greek word meaning ivory. Now we all know that the elephant is the biggest land animal in the world. And he has a long trunk. Some elephants have great ivory teeth called tusks. But here's something I'll bet you didn't know. If you had lived a long time ago, you would have been bigger than an elephant. Because the great, 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 great granddaddy of all elephants was a little animal. Oh, about two feet tall. He's called the beast of Lake Miris because 50 million years ago, oh, give or take a few million, he lived near that lake in Africa. Notice anything funny about him? No tusks and no trunk. Imagine an elephant with no trunk. Of course, the first elephant didn't need one, because he was little and could eat grass easily. As years went by, millions that is, he grew bigger, and as he grew up, his trunk grew down, so he could always reach the grass. After more millions of years, he developed into a giant. He had ivory tusks about nine feet long. This was the mastodon elephant, over ten feet tall. Then, about a million years, the earth got cold. This was called the Ice Age, because there was ice all over the place. Man, was it cold. Gosh. Now, during this ice age, the biggest of all elephants appeared, the mammoth. Was he big, over 14 feet tall? This fellow might have frozen, but Mother Nature gave him a warm, woolly coat. For thousands of years, these big, woolly mammoths roamed all over the frozen globe, Europe, Asia, and even America. When the Ice Age was over and the Earth got warm again, a mysterious thing had happened. The giant elephant was nowhere to be seen. Wooly had vanished. Nobody knows why. He just disappeared. Well, the woolly elephant is no more, but he left lots of relatives. The Indian elephant found in uh, India, and the African elephant found in Africa. The one with the big ears is from Africa. Now today's elephant is smaller and looks hairless, but actually he's covered with thick hairs. A circus elephant often gets a haircut with a blowtorch. Of course it doesn't hurt, because his hide is an inch thick. Playful, too. That reminds me. The most amazing thing about this fellow is his trunk. You know, he uses it like a hand. 
Why, he could pick up a pencil and write his name. If he could write, uh, and spell. A very handy gadget, and powerful too. Watch. Now this flexible trunk has 40,000 muscles. And with the aid of his tusks, he can lift a log weighing a ton. He uses his trunk for getting a drink of water. Or taking a shower. He even breathes through it, because it's really his nose. Now with this versatile trunk and tons of muscle, the Indian elephant, that's the one with the little ears, makes a very valuable worker. He uses his head to help his friend, man. Of course, he's been well trained for years, and he understands every command given him by his mahout, or driver. After his hard work, he is given a refreshing bath by his own valet. elephants don't work, there are still lots of them running wild in the jungles. It's here in the rich growth that the huge beast spends most of his time foraging for food. The elephant has adapted himself well to his jungle home. As big as he is, he has learned to move through the brush almost as silently as the smaller animals. Once in a while, these big fellows even become playful. Sometimes they test their great strength in fierce combat. Of course, they find time to uh, <clears throat> raise little elephants too, just as they have for millions of years. Like something out of a caveman's nightmare, the prehistoric looking elephant is still the biggest and strongest animal on land, the real king of beasts. All in all, the elephant is quite a guy. But there's just one thing I can't figure out. How come he's so doggone big, and I'm so doggone little? Oh, well, <laughs> that's just the nature of things. That good old natural nature of things.